Hallelujah. We've come to lift him up in this place tonight. Oh, we serve a God that's worthy of all the praise we could ever give him. Hallelujah, Lord. We want to give you the glory tonight, Jesus. We love you, Lord. To glorify We come to give you all the praise that you are to We come to give you all and to magnify you For you are worthy of all praise
Hallelujah. Can we lift him up? Can we praise the King of kings and the Lord of lords? Yes, we do lift you up, oh God. We magnify you. We worship you, almighty God, King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Feels good in the house. And at, at this point, I want to invite everyone that has a need. You know, the Bible does encourage us to keep knocking, to keep seeking, to keep calling. So I want to encourage you, don't give up. This might be your last prayer for your back that has been hurting, your headaches, cancer, whatever it is. I believe that God can touch you today, and I believe that God can heal you. If you need prayer, I encourage you to come to the front and let us pray for you. Let us anoint you with oil. Hallelujah. We believe that the name of the Lord is going to heal you. In Jesus' name. Can you help me pray, church? Hallelujah. Come on, let's pray for Sister Kathy Clarks. Let's remember Sister Tasha. Let's remember to pray for Hassel Calvino and also Elvia Sosa. They need prayer. God, we come right now. And we're asking you, God, that in the name of Jesus, that you will touch every need, that you will supply every need. Oh, God, I believe uh, that you can do all things, God. So I'm praying right now for Sister Kathy Clarks, oh, God. I'm praying for Sister Tasha, Tasha oh, God. I pray for Hazel, God, Calvino, Señor. Toca a Hazel, Señor. Ábrele los ojos, Dios mío. Salva a Hazel, Señor. Salva, Señor, a Elvia Sosa, Señor. Tócale el corazón. Tócale los ojos, Señor. Sánale, Dios mío. Oh, Señor, toca a Kathy Clark, oh, Dios mío. A la hermana Tasha, Señor. Manda sanidad. I pray, God, let healing virtue flow. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray.
was bound by a life of sin and shame until Jesus brought me out and I've never been the same so I will be grateful cause you
Somebody call on the name of Jesus right now. Come on, every voice lifted in this house. Every heart open in worship and praise to our God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, I don't care what you came in here fighting against. It can't stand against the name of Jesus. I don't care what kind of disease you carried into this house tonight. It cannot stand against the name of Jesus. I don't care what kind of sin you've been battling with, but it can't stand against the name of Jesus. Come on, there's all power and authority in that name. I said there's all power and authority in that name. I want us to lift up our hands all across this house and open up our mouths and begin to call on the name of Jesus right now. Come on, every hand lifted, every voice raised right now. Just begin to call the name Jesus. I want you to begin to call the name Jesus right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I came to church to have a move of the Holy Ghost tonight. I didn't come to church to be bound up in my pew. I didn't come to church to fulfill my own obligation. But I came to worship in the presence of God. I came to be renewed by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Are you glad Jesus showed up tonight? Amen. I'm glad you're all here. I'm glad to be in God's house tonight. Why don't you turn around and shake somebody's hand? On your way back to your seat, turn around and greet your neighbor. Tell them how good it is to see them in the house of the Lord tonight. We want to take this opportunity and welcome all of our guests and visitors. We want to thank you for joining with us tonight. We're so honored that you would be in service with us on this sun Sunday evening. First Church, why don't we put our hands together, make all of our guests feel welcome. If this is your first time at First Church, you can be seated for just a moment. The ushers are passing out tithing envelopes and one-a-days. If this is your first time joining with us at First Church, or if you've visited before but have not had a chance to fill out one of these Connect cards, um, if you'll fill one of these out and get it back to us tonight, inside this Connect card is a complimentary drink card for the Connect Cafe, and you could redeem that first thing after service tonight. The Connect Cafe will be open. We'll be serving food in the gymnasium for everybody. It's free. We want you to stay and hang out with us for a little while. Enjoy a meal on us. And uh, we hope to see you all out there. Um, of course, you know there's many ways to give here at First Church. Uh, but we've had a little bit of trouble with our text to give solution. Um, and so that will be down for the next few days. Hopefully we'll be able to get that rectified soon but as of right now you're not able to use text to give um, but you can still give in the bucket you can still give through the CC for the through the first church app you can give through CCB online and uh, we've had many people ask us um, how to give towards the building fund this is something pastor talked to us about I believe it was last Sunday um, you can do it multiple ways you can go to the first church app and on the giving tab, there is a, an option you can select to give directly to the building fund. And if you choose to give through our website, fcsanjose.org, there's also a tab there where you can give directly to the building fund. Or you can just do it the good old-fashioned way. You can put a check or cash in an envelope. You can fill in the other box with building fund. And uh, the, all of those monies will go directly to that fund. Uh, to support the vision for what God has for First Church going forward. Anybody excited about today? What God's doing in our church today? Are you excited about what God's doing at First Church tomorrow? Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to be a part of this church. Excited to be a part of a moving, breathing, ebbing, and flowing kingdom. Uh, we'll be uh, back here Wednesday night for our midweek worship in the word. We want you to come back, be a part of it. Um, if you've just been joining with us on Sundays, don't miss out. Don't miss out. God's been doing tremendous things here on Wednesday nights. Come out at 7 o'clock for prayer. 7.30 service begins here in the sanctuary. On Friday nights, uh, this coming Friday night, Re Revivolution Youth is going ice skating. Um, you'll be receiving an, e an email this week with further details. If you have any questions about that, you can see myself, Sister Leslie, Brother Chris, Sister Iridian. Uh, we're going to have a great time. Anybody glad to be in God's house tonight? 
Are there any blessed people in the house? Come on, any blessed people in God's house tonight? Why don't we stand all across this house, and we're going to give you an opportunity to continue to be blessed. Let's remember to stay faithful in our tithe, our offerings, stay faithful in our missions, commitments. And after you've given, or if you've already given online, why don't you look around the building, find an unfamiliar face, maybe find somebody you haven't greeted in a while, walk across the building, step out of your seat, shake their hand, welcome them to the house of the Lord. God bless you as you come and give and greet one another.
Come on, right where you are, why don't you begin to lift up your voice? Come on, right where you are, why don't you lift up your voice and lift up your hands? And come on, are you thankful for the help of the Holy Ghost right now? Come on, all across this house right now, are you thankful for the help of the Holy Ghost? Come on, from the front to the back, lift up your voice and begin to thank the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, right where you're at right now, go ahead and engage in the Holy Ghost right now. Come on, it's Sunday night, it's celebration service. Uh, come on, we didn't come to observe. Uh, we didn't come to look around. Uh, we came to magnify the King of Kings uh, and the Lord of Lords. Come on, for about 30 seconds, uh, right where you are, I want you to lift up your hands. Uh, I want you to lift up your voice. Uh, and I want you to begin to get in the Holy Ghost for a second right now. Woo, come on, that's it. It feels good right now. Come on, there's victory in the house on a Sunday night. Come on, there's victory in the house on a Sunday night. Come on, some of you, you're waiting for what's next right now and right where you are. Uh, you need to go ahead and get in the Holy Ghost right where you're at right now uh, and begin to celebrate and thank the Lord uh, for his goodness and his mercy and his grace and his loving kindness. Come on, we got some things to celebrate tonight. Come on, we got some things to celebrate tonight. We didn't just come to sing some songs. Uh, we came to get in the presence uh, of the Almighty God. Uh, we came, my, 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 my. We came to get in His presence. Uh, we came to get in His glory. Uh, we came to entertain. Woo! Hallelujah! I've come to tell somebody tonight there's victory in San Jose. There's victory in First Church. There's victory in the house of the Lord. There's victory in your family. There's victory in your house. There's victory in your situation. There is victory in San Jose, California. It's not just victory for anybody. It's victory for this church. It's victory for this city. It's victory for you people. It's victory for us. Come on, I need somebody to believe it on a Sunday night. God. There is victory. 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 I'm going to keep on saying it in the Holy Ghost. Uh, there's victory in San Jose. Uh, there's victory in First Church. Uh, there is a... If you want victory on a Sunday night, uh, all you got to do is lift up your voice uh, and begin to shout unto God. Uh, if you want deliverance uh, on a Sunday night, uh, all you got to do uh, is step out of yourself uh, and begin to lift up your hands uh, and lift up your voice uh, and you will receive uh, victory, victory. Victory. Come on, if you need the Holy Ghost, you can get the Holy Ghost right now. In the name of Jesus, if you need deliverance, you can get deliverance tonight. In the name of Jesus. Woo! I'm telling you, somebody right where you're at right now, huh, you just need to go ahead and get loose. Huh? You need to go ahead and get loose. Huh? You need to go ahead and close your eyes, huh? lift up your hands, huh? and just watch what the Holy Ghost will do right now huh? in Sunday night at First Church. Huh? Come on right now where you are.
Come on, it's Holy Ghost time right now. Come on, it's revival in San Jose. It's revival in First Church. Come on, somebody can get the Holy Ghost right now. Somebody can get delivered right now. Somebody can be healed right now. Come on, you go ahead and entertain that right now. You go ahead and entertain that right now. Come on, we're not in a rush tonight. Uh, we got some things to celebrate. Uh, why don't we just go ahead and get in the Holy Ghost uh, and just let the Lord do whatever he wants to do tonight. Uh, come on, why don't you grab your neighbor right now? And why don't you tell him, why don't you help me pray in the Holy Ghost right now? Come on, why don't you help me get in the Holy Ghost right now? Come on, grab a hold of somebody right now and go ahead and get in the Holy Ghost with them. Huh? Come on, there's some young people that need the Holy Ghost tonight. Huh? Come on, there's some people that need the Holy Ghost tonight. Huh? There's some people that need deliverance tonight. Huh? Come on, grab your neighbor huh? and begin to pray with them in the Holy Ghost. Huh? Come on, not just in this altar, huh, but all the way in the back right now. Get the Holy Ghost. Huh. Come on, lift up your voice huh, and grab a hold of your neighbor. Huh. Come on, don't just spectate right now. Huh. Get inside of the water. It's flowing. Huh. It's moving. Huh. It's happening right now. Victory. Victory in the name of Jesus. Victory in the name of Jesus. Victory in your situation. Victory right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, church, lift up your voice right now. Come on, lift up your voice right now. Come on, let it roar in this house right now. Come on, all across this sanctuary. Come on, lift up your voice. Come on, something is happening right now in the atmosphere. sensitive to the Holy Ghost right now. Come on, if you feel to go pray for somebody, you go ahead and pray for them right now. If somebody's on your heart right now, you go ahead and grab their hand and say, hey, come on, let's get in the Holy Ghost with me right now. Come on, I feel faith in the house tonight. Come on, I feel faith in the house tonight. Come on, whatever you need, whatever you need in the presence of the Lord, I'm telling you, go ahead and ask him right now. Whatever you need in your body right now, go ahead and ask him right now. I believe there's faith in the house. I believe God can do anything right now. Come on, if you're sick in body, come on, let the Holy Ghost touch you right now. If you need healing, I want you to call on that name we've been singing about. Come on, I'm telling you, I feel it tonight. I feel it in the house right now. I'm telling you, lift up your voice. If you need it right now, you can have it. If you need a miracle right now, just go ahead and ask God anyhow. Go ahead and ask God anyhow. If you need a touch in your mind, in your body, go ahead 
and ask God one more time. Some of you are waiting right now. Don't wait. Just go ahead and step in. Don't wait. Go ahead and get moving now. Don't wait. Go ahead and lift up your voice now. Don't wait. Go ahead and shout now. Go ahead and move right now. Come on right now, be sensitive to the Holy Ghost. tonight can be your night you get the breakthrough come on tonight can be the night you get healed come on tonight can be the night you're delivered come on tonight can be the night that everything turns around tonight can be the night that it changes in your family tonight can be the night amen that that miracle happens tonight can be the night that your daughter calls you and says I'm ready to come back to church tonight could be that night Come on, some of you need to get your proverbial tambourine right now. You may not have a physical tambourine, but you just need to go ahead and shake your hands and you need to go ahead and lift up your voice. I'm telling you, there's something on the other side of this tonight. If you'll just keep on pressing in the Holy Ghost, there's something on the other side of this tonight. If you'll just keep on pressing until there is a breakthrough. Come on, everybody, somebody, everybody get connected with somebody right now. Come on, everybody get connected with somebody right now. Come on, nobody just looking around right now, observing. Come on, I'm telling you, God wants to do something inside of somebody's life tonight. God wants to do something inside of somebody's family tonight. Come on, he, my, 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 my. Come on, First Church, that's it. That's it right now. Come on, that's it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
on, that's it. Let it out right now. Come on, that's it. Let it out right now. Come on, that's it. Let it out right now. Come on, that's it. Go ahead and get in that place. Go ahead and get in that place. Come on, Sister Brittany, pray just a little bit louder. Something's happening in the atmosphere right now. Come on, that's it. In the name of Jesus. it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus come on come on I'm telling somebody don't stop until you get that breakthrough don't stop until you feel that touch don't stop until you feel him touch you Come on, that's it. Come on, that's it. Come on, that's it. Come on, that's it. Keep on praying. Come on, keep on lifting up your voice right now. I'm telling you, there's victory tonight. moving all across this sanctuary right now. Come on, if you get done praying with somebody, go pray for somebody else right now. Come on, it's time to minister to somebody else right now. Come on, it's time to be sensitive right now. The Holy Ghost is moving from the front to the back right now. Come on, that's it. Come on, the enemy doesn't want you to have it on a Sunday night, but you can have victory. Come on, the devil doesn't like it when you get victory, but you can have victory on a Sunday night. Come 
Come on, he's moving right now. Come on, he's touching right now. think the Lord is done yet. The Bible records in 1 Samuel chapter 22 that David finds himself running from Saul. At this point in time, David has had the javelin thrown at him. He's running from place to place. He's going to the, to the high priest and he grabs a hold of Goliath's sword. David finds himself in all kinds of different places and situations gets to a place now where he's, he's going into hiding. David is running again because Saul is after him. David goes into a cave. The King James Version says a hold, but the ESV says a stronghold. David goes into this place that, that would seem like it would be safe. It would be better for him just to go inside of this place. Saul's after him. He slips inside of this cave. This is the same man who, who would, would begin to pen and, and write psalms and, and play the harp and stand in a place of worship. And, and a worshiper finds himself standing in a place of a cave. The prophet Gad comes to him and he says, David, don't stay. I'll read it from the ESV. Don't stay in the stronghold. David, don't stay inside of the cave. It would seem like it would be easier to stay inside of this place, inside of this season and time. But he said, I don't want you to stay inside of the cave, David. I understand Saul is after you, but David, uh, I want you to go down to Judah. I want you to step into that place, and I want you to step outside of that cave that you're in right now, uh, and I want you to get to that place place in that land of Judah. Amen. Many of us know that Judah is praise and worship. Amen. But Judah is also celebration. He was telling David, I want you to step out of that place that's trying to drive you in one place. And I want you to step out and get to a place of praise and celebration because it is never the will of God. Amen. That a child of God finds himself. Amen. Inside of a cave. Amen. Directionless not operating in the purpose of God. I've come to tell somebody on a Sunday night, there are things in your world trying to drive you to a cave, but I've come to tell you tonight in the Holy Ghost, it's not the will of God that you live inside of the cave or the stronghold. It's time you step out and you get into Judah and you pick up that harp and you pick up that tambourine and say, I'm stepping out of that place. The temptation would have been easy just to stay in that place in that moment. This is nothing new in the scripture. We see it with Elijah. Fire fall down from heaven. Jezebel comes and 
and says, hey, this is what I'm going to do to Elijah. And Elijah begins to envision what the words of Jezebel is. And so Elijah finds himself that he's running and he's going to a place uh, where he finds himself in the cave. Uh, and in that moment in time, God comes to Elijah and says, uh, what are you doing in a cave? Why? Uh, because Elijah had no business being inside uh, of a cave. It didn't matter the season. Uh, it didn't matter the circumstance. Uh, it didn't matter what was going on around him. Uh, Hey man, no child of God, hey man, deserves to be in that place. I'm telling somebody today, it's time to step out of the cave and get my, 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 my. Anything that's trying to keep you from praising, anything that's trying to keep you from shouting, it's time to step out of that. Don't stay in the stronghold. It's time to get in Judah. I know what I'm saying tonight. Hey, man, if we're not careful, uh, hey, man, we can easily allow anything to try to rob us uh, of our praise, our thanksgiving, uh, and our worship. Uh, hey, man, anything that could try to rob us, uh, hey, man, of this season and time, uh, hey, man, that we're walking in. I said it from the very beginning. Uh, hey, man, when I got to the pulpit, uh, hey, man, it is still revival in San Jose. Uh, it's still celebration. Uh, it's still breakthrough. Uh, this is not hyper hyperbole. Uh, we're talking about the promise of God. Uh, hey, man, Somebody, you need to shake yourself in the Holy Ghost tonight. You need to shake yourself in the Holy Ghost tonight until you get Judah back. Be Come on, you got to get to Judah. You got to get to that place of praise. You got to get to that place of thanksgiving. You got to get to that place of worship. You got to get to that place of dance. You got to get to that place of shout. The promise of Judah. When Jacob is on his deathbed. He looks at Judah and says, promises that your hand will always be around the throat of your enemy. It's that kind of victory showing superiority and authority. He said when you step in that place, when you begin to walk in that place, you have authority. When you begin to allow yourself to step into that dimension, that it gets beyond just a beat and a sound and music going. Huh? But there's something that begins to connect with your spirit. Huh? Hey, man, that gets beyond the music. Huh? And you suddenly start to get in the Holy Ghost. Huh? Hey, man, anybody can just jump around for a few minutes. Huh? Hey, man, but there's something that shifts. Huh? Every true worshiper knows huh? that moment when you get in the Holy Ghost huh? and you understand I'm not in my flesh anymore. Huh? Hey, it's easy for us just to praise a little bit huh? in our flesh. Huh? But what I'm telling you on a Sunday night huh? and what I feel in my my spirit, I'm telling you, it's time to let it get all over you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, and you let praise, hey man, praise get a hold of you from the top of your head. Oh, come on, somebody right now. Let that get a hold of you right now. Come on, somebody right now. Let that get a hold of you right now. Come on, somebody, let that get a hold of you right now. Come on, don't wait on somebody else. Let that flow inside of you right now. Let praise swell up inside of you right now. I'm telling you, I'm just obeying what I feel right now. I'm telling you, first church all across this house, come on, begin to lift up your voice and lift up your hands right now and let it sweep all across this house. Come on, praise him anyhow. Thank him anyhow. Shout anyhow. Lift up your voice anyhow. Come on, I'm telling you, there's strength in the presence of the Lord. There is help in the presence of the Lord. But if you'll just go ahead and worship him right now, there's strength on the other side. There's help on the other side.
I'm telling you right now, somebody go ahead right now. I'm telling you, go ahead right now. Go ahead right now. Don't wait on somebody else. Don't wait on somebody else right now. I'm telling you, you just go ahead and go to that place. Even if you have to go by yourself right now, you just go ahead and get in the Holy Ghost by yourself. Amen. Even if nobody else will. All across this house right now, voices raised right now. Come on, that's it. Come on, that's it. Come on, that's it. Let it flow across this house right now. Come on, that's it. Just get in the Holy Ghost right now. Come on, somebody press in that place right now. Come on, you may not feel like it's for you right now, but I'm telling you, somebody go ahead and press right now in the Holy Ghost right there where you are. Come on, you're so close right now to a breakthrough. Come on, you're so close to touching on the other side of that right now. Come on, there's victory for you right now. Come on, I'm telling you, I just feel it right now. I'm telling you, if it's for you, you just go ahead in that place right now. Come on, somebody, go ahead and get lost in that right now. Come on, don't hold anything back right now. Don't hold any reserves right now. Just go ahead and get lost in that right now. Come on, some of you, you're needing it right now. Just go ahead and get lost in that place right now. Come on, just get lost in that place right now. Don't worry about what your neighbor's doing right now.
Why don't you join up with your neighbor right now if it's appropriate, and let's all just stand together across this house. And I want us to lift our voices right now, and I want us to begin to thank God for what he's done in this service tonight. The Holy Ghost has moved in here in a powerful, powerful way. I think we ought to lift up our hearts full of gratitude. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, church. We've been blessed with a visitation of the Holy Ghost tonight. Come on, why don't you lift up the hands of your neighbor. Lift up your own hands right now. Lift up your voice. Come on, from the bottom of your heart, I wonder if you could just begin to express praise, worship, gratitude for what the Spirit of God has wrought for this church tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, there's people going home with victory tonight. There's people going home full of the Holy Ghost. There's people facing this next coming week with victory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, prayers have been answered in this service tonight. Long prayed prayers have been answered in this service tonight. Come on, why don't you put your hands together right now. Why don't you lift up your voice and give him thanks. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. We thank you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be a part of a church that knows how to move with the Holy Ghost. Hey, we still follow the cloud. We still follow the moving of the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen. The Bible said that the wind blows where it wants, and we know because of the sound, we see the trees move, we hear the sound, and it's the same thing with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Those of you that have been around here for a while, you know you can look across a building, and you can hear that sound when the Holy Ghost begins to move, and you know it's time to get out and get in the flow, and I'm grateful that we got people in this church that know how to get in the flow. I'm grateful Brother Harris obeyed the Holy Ghost tonight. Amen, amen. I don't know about you, I feel victory right now. I feel victory in my spirit. I feel like we're standing on the devil's head tonight. Amen. Amen, amen. Well, I'll tell you what, I think the best way to cap this night off would be to, uh, first of all, if you feel to continue to pray, we want you to linger, stay, pray as long as you feel to. If you want to, if you want to fellowship, we've got a gymnasium full of chairs and tables We've got hot food. We've got a coffee shop that's waiting for you. If you want a fellowship, why don't you head out to the, head out to the gymnasium, head out to the coffee shop. We've got a beautiful foyer. If you want to stay and pray, we want to encourage you to stay in here as long as you'd like. We'll see you back here Wednesday night for prayer, for prayer, worship, and the word. Tuesday, all church prayer and fasting. And we'll see you then, 12 o'clock, if you're able to be here. If we don't see you before, then praying here at the house of God. God bless you all.